guys, I am very excited to bring you my latest LEGO mock. This one is Star Wars based, and it is essentially just a rebel attack on an Imperial satellite facility. And this isn't supposed to replicate any one planet or battle from the Star Wars universe. I just wanted to have a mock where rebels were attacking an Imperial base, and that is what I have done. So over on the right side of the mock here, there's kind of a uh, forested area, and then transitions into a bit of a, just a kind of a tiny little grassy area, and then it transitions into a desert or a beach, and the Imperial base is over there, which I will show you more of in a minute. And uh, just some basic overview of the mock, it is nine green base plates big, three by three, and every base plate of the mock is raised up by one brick, so um, everything that you see has bricks underneath as support. So this mock, I'm guessing, probably has about 10,000 pieces in it, uh, roughly, maybe a little less. So uh, it's a pretty big mock. I, I do believe this is the biggest mock that I have ever built. I'm very happy with the way that it turned out. So I'm going to go ahead and get a little bit closer and start showing you guys around the mock. So starting in the rebel corner, I have the uh, U-wing, uh, kind of not landed, but hovering over a hill. And this is this U-Wing is not customized in any way. This is just the U-Wing set from 2016. And uh, here I have some Rebels jumping out. And I like the way this turned out, uh, the way I got the Rebels jumping down. Nothing too crazy, you just have them bent. And this guy is running down the hill. And I'm happy with the way this hill turned out. It's small, but I think it looks pretty good. And it has raised up quite a few bricks uh, off of the ground, or the uh, quote-unquote ground. And uh, so you can just see there is quite a bit of foliage. Um, the brick-built trees that you see are custom-built. I did use some of the prefabricated ones, since I do have a bunch, and I wanted to fill in the area with trees. And uh, the main pieces that I use for foliage are these little bamboo pieces, along with the grass pieces. But you will see some of the um, other foliage pieces, like these big bushes, and then that uh, bright green piece that you see right there. And there's also some leaves growing on the ground. And uh, this tree you can see is dead. Its leaves have turned brown and there's like moss and things growing down from it. And there are rebels charging through the woods out towards the base. They've all come from the U-Wing. This guy is the leader. Uh, he is a custom minifigure, nothing too crazy. Just used a uh, Boromir head um, and just a, a short red hair. And that is Cassian Andor's body and legs. This rebel is not doing so well. He just got shot. And uh, you can see there's a rebel charging down here. And all the rebels in this set are from Rogue One, although a few of them also are from other sets. But uh, most of the rebels are from uh, the Rogue One styled sets. This guy is getting taken out as well. And uh, just a bunch of foliage. I like the way this turned out. I think it, it looks uh, pretty good and very dense. Um, it's kind of what I was going for. And then over here are the uh, Imperial lines. And the Stormtrooper is dead and lost his helmet, but the rest of them are still firing, except for that one. Um, and then here is a little downed turret, but we'll get to more of the base in a minute. And this guy is crouching, trying to take cover behind some foliage. And this guy is hiding behind this strangely shaped tree. And then there's one more Stormtrooper back here. There's about eight uh, regular Stormtroopers around the mock. And that's really it for the forest section. Nothing too crazy going on, although I did forget to point out this uh, downed tree that the Rebels are using as cover. I'm happy with the way that turned out. Thing looks pretty good. And there are some Rebels going on kind of like a diagonal attack, attacking more of the base, whereas these Rebels are trying to take out just the uh, Stormtrooper guard and then moving towards the hangar area. And uh, the rest of the Rebel lines are over here in the desert, or, uh, yeah, I guess it's supposed to be a desert. I'm not really sure what I was going for. Just a sandy area. It could be a desert or a beach. But uh, there are two speeder bikes right there. Uh, this one is obviously getting blown up, and the Rodian is going flying through the fire. Very happy with the way this crash speeder turned out. I think it looks great. And then the speeder is just flying uh, through the desert, uh, advancing towards the base. And then there is an Imperial hover tank, which has taken out that speeder and is also shooting uh, towards that speeder. Just use some spring-loaded shooters uh, sticking out of the main cannon right there. But there are some Rebel jet troopers. This guy is firing a grenade launcher, hoping to take down this tank and save the remaining speeder. And this guy is flying towards the base, uh, hoping to take out some of the stormtroopers guarding inside. 
And that is really it uh, for the outside area. I'm very happy with the way it turned out. I think it looks pretty cool. My favorite part is definitely that crash speeder. I'm very happy with the way that turned out with all the fire. And uh, yeah, so that is really it for the outside area. I will now take you guys on a tour of the base. So the base itself is fairly small, it's uh, not too big, but uh, the main part of the base, or at least its function, is stored on the roof in t the form of two satellites. Since this is an Imperial communications facility, it obviously has large satellites uh, for communication purposes. And these satellites are a custom build, I'm very happy with the way these turned out. I used antenna pieces to kind of get just a little bit of detailing on the dish piece. And then this one just uses a smaller dish on the inside. And both of these satellites can be uh, positioned in many different ways. This one is on two different ball joints. It's a little fragile there. It's just attached by those two bricks. And this one is on a hinge piece, so it can just move up and down. And then there's a little control center right here, but this technician is working. And there's just a simple guardrail, making sure that nobody falls off or gets too close to the satellite equipment. And there's, there are quite a few windows around the base, so not too many on this side, but this side has a big window. And then there are just a few windows on this side right there. And I did design this so the roof can pop off very easily, just like that. You see that part of the railing is actually not attached. And on the inside of the base, there's nothing too crazy going on. Uh, there's a ladder up to the top, a little control center right there where an officer is working and the little power generator for the satellites and the rest of the base. And then right here is kind of an officer working at the base, and this guy is visiting on the shuttle, or from the shuttle, that landed outside, and the rebels have attacked, uh, so he is being led inside by the officer and his death troopers. And this door I did use in my previous mock, but I was so happy with the design, I used it again. It's just a simple sliding door. Uh, the the officer dude is in the way, so it won't close all the way, but it just slides, and then it, the little handle goes right into that gap right there, and then that allows me to open it, or, yeah, open it uh, when it is fully closed. Now, yeah, so that is really it for the base. I'll go ahead and put the roof back on. It's a fairly small base, but I'm pretty happy with the way that it came out. Uh, the main focus was the satellites, which just fell off, that kind of figures. But, uh... So the main focus of this base was the satellites, so there's nothing too crazy going on on the inside. But overall, I'm very happy with the way this came out, and I will now give you a tour of kind of the bigger part of the base, which is the little landing pad area. So right here is the door that I showed you from inside the base. This uh, shock trooper is just trying to get the uh, high-ranking officer inside for his safety. And there's just a simple guardrail on either side, kind of showing that that is where the base ends. Do not pass this line. And then there are a few death troopers, although this one has been shot dead, and this one is in the process of falling down, and his weapon is flying from his hand. And the um, main landing pad area is just a bunch of dark bluish-gray plates, and I will remove the uh, Imperial Shuttle. This is just the 2015 Tidarium set, so that way you can get a better look at the area around the landing pad. So the main area is obviously uh, very empty, just so you can fit larger craft. And then over on this side, there's just some storage crates and then a canister, possibly containing fuel. And then a few ropes, just uh, preventing people from getting in and stealing the supplies, and also keeping supplies from being knocked out. And then right here is a tiny little armory. Weapons can be clipped onto the side like that. But since there's obviously a battle going on right now, almost all the weapons are in use. And that is the Stormtrooper Commander right there, firing from the safety of cover. And there's two more Stormtroopers reinforcing the troops outside. And then this Shadow Trooper is operating a turret. There's an identical one on the other side, which I will show you since it is a bit easier to see. And then here is the rest of the Death Trooper squad. And then here is the little turret build. I do have a tutorial for a similar version of this turret up on my channel. And this Shadow Trooper has turned away from his turret to help join the fight. And uh, this turret can uh, rotate just like this, so you can fire at a wide range of enemies. And it also just has a bit of a sidewall going on to protect the rest of the base. And then here is the main gate to enter the landing pad if you are not on an aircraft. And here is the little control station uh, to operate this gate. I like the little chair design that I came up with here. I think it looks pretty good. 
And here is a turret that has been blown up. Uh, so this is like a dual cannon turret. Uh, there's like a bit of a little control panel right there. But um, it the Rebels have very smartly uh, blown it up so that it does not uh, wreak havoc on their forces. And I, am, I like the way the fire turned out. And I like the way I got that one positioned. I think it looks pretty cool. And then the gate does open. Uh, so you just flip that back, flip that one back that way, and then it opens just like this. Just have to push this back from the edge of the table a little bit so I can get that to open all the way. And you can bring in like a hover tank or something, which is probably what is usually stored in this area. So uh, yeah, uh, this can then just close up like that. And that is really it for the base. I'll go ahead and put the Imperial Shuttle back right in there. And I think that will do it for the mock. I'll go ahead and give you guys just a last aerial view of it. So that is the mock. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave your thoughts on this mock by leaving a comment down below. And if you enjoyed this video, definitely click that like button. It really means a lot. And if you want to see more mocks from me, definitely click that subscribe button and turn on notifications so that you never miss when I upload a new mock video. And once again, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I had a lot of fun making this mock, and I hope you guys enjoyed. And that'll be it from me today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.